Hello and welcome to the Jared Muntz Soccer Podcast. This is Jared Muntz, founder of OnlineSoccerAcademy.com and CollegeRecruitingWebsite.com. And as always, I'm your host. Today is March 28th, 2011, and today's guest is Heather Mitz. Heather is a women's professional soccer player for the Atlanta Beat and also a member of the U.S. Women's National Team. The Jared Muntz Soccer Podcast is put on by my company, OnlineSoccerAcademy.com, we make better soccer players through easy to learn from free online training videos. If you're a player, coach, or a listener that has kids that play, sign up today for free at OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. All right, back to our guest, Heather Mitz. She's been capped by the national team over 100 times, featured in multiple magazines, and done commentary work for ESPN and ABC. This lady is talented, smart, and a very good player. So before any big major brands like ESPN and Under Armour try to lock her in for their schedule for the day, let's get her on the line and see what she has to say. We'll go ahead and get right into it. You signed with the Atlanta Beat in January this year. How are you settling in uh, in Atlanta and the team? You know what? I couldn't be happier. Um, you know, I didn't really know it was coming down here. I was familiar with James. I've trained with James uh, before. So I knew from that aspect that I'd be very happy. Um, you know, playing under him and just learning from him. But, you know, obviously a lot of girls are very new, um, the team very new, and obviously the, in the area. And I have absolutely been so happy, and I love being here. And I'm just really looking forward to a good season. Well, speaking of doing everything possible, I, I was perusing around your Facebook fan page, and I came across this picture of a hyperbaric chamber. And uh, before I read the caption, I couldn't figure out if that was like the largest blow-up mattress not blown up I'd ever seen or something that belongs on a spaceship or like a very large flotation device. And then I read the caption, and it says you've been sleeping in it to help speed up the recovery process. Does it work? And can yeah. you tell us a little bit more about it? Um, well, as far as I know, I mean, like you said, it's kind of a weird contraption, <laughs> but, you know, I know it's supposed to. It just basically pumps pure oxygen through, and you're in a closed um, capsule, and so it's just helping your body to recover faster, um, especially when you have an injury. So I just was sleeping in it five days a week, um, and actually since I've been back here in Atlanta, I found a place here that actually has one as well. So I go over about three times a week um, in between our double days to do the hyperbaric chamber for about an hour. It's not the same as sleeping in it, but, you know, just trying to do everything possible, and I just think, you know, I, I really think it has helped me. Um, you know, it's basically, I keep hearing from everybody that a first thing torn hamstring, like on the origin, takes a really long time to recover. And, you know, even though I think eight weeks is an eternity, what I'm hearing from everybody is it's really not that long of a time. So I do think that everything that did rehab-wise, especially the hyperbaric chamber, I swear by it. So, um, yeah, I've been very lucky. What's your national team status right now? Are we going to see you in the World Cup this summer? Uh, yes, I hope so. Um, once again, knock on wood, you know, it's kind of one of those things where, you know, I've had major injuries in the past two World Cups and I haven't played in one. So I'm hoping that the same thing is going to happen this time around. Um, you know, I, I know I have a little bit of time left, and that's why I'm trying to be really smart about things. And I am going to go into camp um, with the national team after our second game of the season. And, you know, he is going to decide the, the roster shortly after that. So, um, you know, I think once again, like if I can just get healthy here and start really ramping it up and start to get everything back, then you know I will give myself an opportunity to make a team. Hopefully, um, if I don't have any setbacks. Well, um, Atlanta's got their own very, uh, very nice uh, new soccer-specific stadium that you get to call home. Holds 8,300 fans. Looks amazing. How nice is it, and and um, how nice is it going to be to play in an environment like that on a regular basis? Yeah, I mean. Just what I have been in the past two years. I mean, this is the best facility of any of the teams in the league. You know, we're extremely um, lucky to be able to have uh, the facilities at kind of South State. You know, it's top notch, soccer specific field. And, you know, the stadium, we get to train on it every single day to pack the field with the team. Um, these guys are out here taking immaculate care of these, of these fields, and it's really paying off. And, you know, for us to be able to go out there every single day and we don't have to worry about what we're playing on. We're playing on a great field. You know, all we have to worry about is the product that we're putting out there. So, um, pretty, it's amazing. And obviously, being in a soccer-specific stadium, you know, hopefully the fans will really enjoy coming and watching us play on it. 
All right, well, the next one's uh, a Twitter question again from at Original H. O'Neill, and she asks, how does it feel to be a role model for young girls across America, and do you feel a certain responsibility? Uh, I think it's extremely flattering. Uh, you know, I think about the people that I looked to, up to when I was growing up and the fact that I'm now a role model for many people out there. I think that's something I really um, take a lot of pride in. Um, I, every decision that I make, I think about how I'm going to affect those who look up to me. Um, and try to be the best role model possible, you know, um, about how I conduct myself, not only on the field, but off the field. And, uh, you know, just trying to, to be the best role model possible. Second question, what advice do you have for young players that want to live the dream of playing pro soccer? Um, just going back to the work ethic. You know, I think working harder than anybody else and being really realistic about what your weaknesses are and working on those weaknesses to try to be the best, like, the most complete player. Um, you know, I think it's about having fun, uh, you know, not being so serious all the time, taking good care of your body, um, you know, that includes getting enough sleep, drinking water, eating the right things, um, you know, there's so many things nowadays, but I think the one thing that matters the most still to this day that we don't see, don't see in a lot of, of players and the reason why they should be the most talented, but they're not going to make it, is the work ethic.